On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Saturday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. No, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps. I have two stories to share with you in the morning, yeah. But also to all the regular members of Chan Public traversing the church in the morning, yeah. Happy Sabbath. And as always, please remember on the Spot News Media, it's loyal viewers and subscribers in your immediate prayers. You definitely see your earth run right now, so you know for sure, so we need that now more than ever. And to all of the regular members of Chan Public out there traversing the streets, whether you're going to the market district or just going about your regular business, as always, safe travel, pan the gravel and continue to look out on the corner here because what the old dirty corner boy them always out there a lurks so happy new month to all of the ones and ones them yeah man so we're gonna kick it off this morning with some international news you don't know say so from international news and jamaicans involving it and the spot news media most definitely i gotta carry it now the anderson county sheriff's office that's over there in south carolina in the united states of america said that two people were recently taken into custody after deputies reportedly found over four pounds of the white substance you don't know the white lady type of thing there yeah man so the officers found that in bluetooth speakers during a recent traffic stop deputy stated that the incident began when the deputies stopped the car for speeding on the high 85. Now, according to the deputies, several red flags in the car caught their eyes, including a plastic bag in the back seat holding what seems to be a brand new portable speaker box. Now, the deputies stated that they searched the speaker box and found over four pounds of the white substance concealed inside. They added that they found a handgun also in a Gucci handbag. Now following the stop, Huntley Dixon, this person here on your right, and Matthew Hemmings on your left were taken into custody and charged with trafficking the white substance and also possession of a weapon during a violent crime. Now, for those who don't know, and I'm pretty sure a lot already know, that a little criminal element from over Cockburn Pen, from the gully top section of Cockburn Pen, known as Rang Move. Now, he's the one on your left. He's known as Matthew Hemmings, but of course, more popularly known in the criminal underworld as Rang Move. Now, wrong move, make a wrong move and get caught. <laughs> yeah, man. Now, the next man, Huntley Dixon, is said to be from the Nannyville area of Eastern Kingston. I've not yet confirmed for sure about Huntley Dixon, but for sure, Matthew Hemmings, a.k.a. wrong move, is from the Cockburn Pen community. Not a done, but a knackis and clappis within him own right. But take with himself go through the border because the war did get kind of hot in the Catburn Pen area. Too hot for him to stay in that kitchen and find himself now bangled up 
gone behind bars for a mighty long time in the land of opportunities. So I can flick it back over there onto local soil. We have a really sad, sad story to present to you, the regular members of Chan Public, about a family dispute that had landed two family members in jail and one in the hospital receiving 57 stitches for a chop she received from her own sister's boyfriend. Yeah, man. Now, the two family members who is presently behind bars is a mother and a son. So all of this literally began on the 7th of May when two sisters, Shanique Williams, who is the complainant in this matter, by the way, she's the one that had to get 57 stitches for injuries received. So Shanique Williams and her sister, her blood sister, Kimona Brown, had a verbal altercation that got physical. That verbal altercation led to her being hit over the head with a steel cutter from her nephew, that is her sister's Kimon Brown son, who goes by the name of Roshan Valentine. So as I stated, Roshan Valentine is her nephew. So both sisters had the verbal altercation. The nephew got involved and hit his aunt over her head with a steel cutter, causing serious injuries to her. Now, whilst the son attacked the aunt, the aunt sister, which is Kimon Brown, advanced and further attacked her, using her scissors to inflict wounds on their eyes. A tussle ensued between sisters, and Shanique Williams managed to take that scissors from her sister that attacked her and use that scissors to inflict serious wounds to the attacking sister, which landed both of them behind bars. So basically both sisters went to the police station and pressed charges against each other. So you call that type of matter a case and cross case. So one sister pressed charges on the other. So basically Shanique Williams was charged and got bail. And also Kimon Brown and her son Roshan Valentine was charged by the police in that same matter and was granted bail also. But before the bail could have been executed, the police found out that they had another case that they were on bail on. A case of robbery with aggravation and also a case of wounding with intent. So both mother and son, that's Kimon Brown and Roshan Valentine, had prior issues with the police and were out on bail for that matter. So the police basically took back their bail bond and they remained in custody. Now Shanique Williams was out on bail for the part that she played in that fiery turn physical squabble with her sibling and also her nephew. So it is said that Shanique Brown returned home. So upon her returning home, she was at her house when she was paid a visit by this man present on your screen. He has since been identified as Sean Valentine, but popularly known in the streets as Joe Boy. Now, Joe Boy rides a bike. He's a delivery man by profession. That bike number is 3053F. Now, I gave that information for this reason. Sean Valentine 
is also the father of Roshan Valentine and also the baby father of Kimon Brown, who both Kimon Brown and Roshan Valentine is presently in custody for the physical altercation between Shanique Williams and themselves. Now a verbal confrontation took place with Sean Valentine and Shanique Williams in which a machete was brought into play where he inflict a massive wound to the back of one of her hands. So Shanique Williams is kind of a thick-set person so that part of her arm the upper part right under her arm right there that shoulder part go down to her elbow is really thick so to speak and he used a machete to split that part of her arm for the whole length from her shoulder to her elbows causing her to receive 57 stitches in and out. Now the matter was reported to the Hunts Bay Police Station and on your screen is that receipt that she got from the police. Now this man Sean Valentine is wanted by the police and also wanted by the courts as the dispute is presently before the corporate area resident magistrate court in half a tree where the matter was heard before presiding judge venice blackstock murray now whilst in the court shanique williams pleaded to the judge stating that her life is under serious threat and she's begging the court to get the baby father off the streets because she had to relocate forcibly so from her dwelling home that she built from ground up because she's definitely in fear of her life. Now anyone knowing the whereabouts of Sean Valentine is being asked to contact the Hunts Bay Police as they are the ones that is investigating this matter that is presently before the courts so if you're listening to the voice of on the spot news media sean valentine i would advise you to go seek audience with the hunts bay police as you are wanted in a matter that involves shanique williams which stated that you use a machete to inflict serious wounds causing her to receive 57 stitches in and out so again anyone knowing the whereabouts of this man sean valentine please contact the hunts bay police and you are reminded that it is a serious offense to harbor a known wanted person because you just may find yourself behind bars with that person a word to the wise. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.